Hello there and welcome to the October 2020 paper, paper 1 for this series. Let's have a look at question 8. So a new smartphone was released by a company. The company monitored the total number of phones sold n at time t days after the phone was released. The company uh, observed that during this time the rate of increase of n was proportional to n. Use this information to write down a suitable equation for n in terms of t. So let's turn this into a differential equation. The rate of increase of n, so dn by dt, is proportional to, so equals some scale factor multiplier times n. So now what we've got ourselves here is a little differential equation that needs solving. Use this information to write down a suitable equation for n in terms of t. OK, so what we'll do then is we'll separate the variables and we'll do it as 1 over n dn equals k dt. So k is just a number. That's the scale factor proportion number. So we've left it there. We've divided by the n on the other side and we've uh, times the dt on the other side as well. So now we'll integrate both sides. So it's therefore going to be um, ln n equals kt plus c. Okay, so let's now inverse the ln. How do you inverse the ln? You exponential both sides of the equation. So e to the power of both sides. So n equals e to the power of kt plus c. Now I'm just going to simplify this a little bit, um, splitting up these indices here. n equals e to the kt it's e times e to the c. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite e to the c as a. So remember, you can split up indices um, by using the same base and a multiply, because when you multiply indices with the same base, you add the powers. So it's going to be n equals a e to the k t. And there we are. That's the answer for this question here. Use this information to write down a suitable equation for n in terms of t. It's an exponential equation. If you see that the rate of increase is proportional to the number of phones you've sold, then it's an exponential equation. So there we are. That's the answer for question 8 there. Let's now move on to question 9. 